Death Valley Days. Hi, Jim. Don't tell me you got your plow done already, little Mac. Well, I'm just looking around for chores so I can work up an appetite. You know, I still can't figure out how your folks ever called you little Mac. Shucks, when I was born, I didn't even weigh 20 pounds. You got Ma's thread? Yeah, I got it. The Big Mac glove. Hey, the new almanac's in now. You want me to bring you one? I don't know if I can talk Paul out of the money. Is it a good big one with lots of pictures? Sure is. Uh, thanks. I'll, I'll let you know. Oh, Jim, it's been thawing pretty good up in the mountains. That creek's a sight. Yeah, I know. The crossing was rough yesterday. Why don't you take the long way today? Up by the Turner place. Turner's? I don't think I know them. They bought the old Chafee place. Only been here a couple of years. Last I heard, he was kind of sickly. Well... I guess I'll pay him a visit. See you tomorrow. Thanks for the waltz, Jim. Can't be hurt too bad, son. No bones broken. We just get her in the house. Now, don't you worry, son. She's gonna be all right. Now, easy. Just lie still a while. Fool thing I did riding in scaring your horses. I'm sorry. You oughtn't be out there plowing that field. You've got to be ready for planting. Well, around here, when a, when a woman becomes a widow, she moves into town. I'm not giving up my farm. Now, take it easy. You had quite a jolt. My husband gave his life for this farm for the boy and me. We stay here. You can't plow that field, and I ain't got time to do it. I know. Little Mac, the McDonald boy. He wants an almanac. I'll get him an almanac, and he'll plow your field. Why should you pay him to plow my field? Well, I scared your horses. Who are you? Me? My name's Jim Barnes. I ride the mail between Austin and Ellsworth. Part of my job is taking care of folks' wants. Why did you come charging in here anyway? Why? Oh. This thing. You interested? You mean do I? Well, no. I got a job. I work for Ben Notter. He runs a mail service and a newspaper. I mean, well, for goodness sakes, no. Then what are you doing with my sign? You can't put up a sign like this. You can't just advertise for a husband. Mr. Barnes, do you think I'd put up that sign if there was any other way? I know I can't keep running this farm myself. It takes a man. My boy needs a father. But, ma'am, you just can't... The only trouble is nobody much comes by. Did you say you have something to do with the newspaper? Well, my boss, Ben Nolan. You could get him to put this notice in the paper, and a lot of men will see it. Well, I won't do any such thing. You get him to put it in the paper. Write in uh, anybody who's interested to call on Sunday, and I'll pay whatever it costs. Well, you might as well stop talking like that, Miss Turner. I'm not going to do any such thing. Please, Mr. Paul. 
are. You say you take care of people's wants. This is my desperate want. She's the stubbornest woman I've ever seen, Ben. I kept telling her she couldn't do that. What else can she do, Jim? You know, instead of stubborn, you might say she's uh, spunky. She wants to keep that farm, so she's got to get remarried. And how else is she going to find herself a husband? Ben, you mean you're going to run that thing? Sure, I'm going to run it. And we'll get some men up there Sunday. Tell me, Jim, is she pretty? Pretty? Gosh, I don't know. When I picked her up, she was sort of light to hold. Soft like. Well, you know how women are. Yeah, I know. She's pretty. Yeah, I guess you could say that. If she's fixed up. Why don't you marry her? Me? Well, I thought I made that clear. I'm talking about you. Well, Ben, you can just stop talking like that right now. One thing I'll never do is marry a stubborn fool woman like that. Oh, now you don't care what happens to her. You know, I'd, I'd like to see her get the right kind of man. Well, do you know the right man? Yeah. Maybe I do. You mean I get to keep the Albanac for free? Just for plowing the field over at Widow Turner's. That's right. Oh, gee. But I ought not to take pay for doing a neighborly chore like that. Sure you can. You'll be doing me a favor. You do want the almanac. Yeah. All right. It's a deal. Well, thanks. Oh, one other thing. Yeah? Well, like you say, now she's a widow. She needs a man to run that farm. I guess so. Well, uh, Miss Turner's doing a kind of funny thing. She's running a notice in the newspaper that says, uh, she's willing to share her farm with, uh, any man that wants to marry her and be a father to the boy and all. You're joshing me. It's the honest truth. And any man that's interested should, uh, go call in on Sunday. I ain't never heard of such a thing. Jim. Now, Jim, you're not thinking about me. You gotta get married sometime. She's a fine woman. She's a fool woman taking a notice in the newspaper like that. Well, no, little Mac, no, that's, uh, that's just for plowing the field. That's all. Well, let's just make sure it's for plowing the field. That's all. Right. What kind of man would show up on Sunday? What kind of man? That's what worries me. Miss Turner? Morning, ma'am. Well, morning, Mr. Barnes. I didn't know you carried the mail on Sunday. I don't. I just uh, happened to be riding by. Well, your, uh, your notice got in the newspaper, all right. Anybody showed up? Not yet. You always go riding on your day off? I feel like it. See, you got your field plowed, all right. Thanks to you. You, uh, did you like little Mac okay? Yes, I guess so. But he's awful shy. When I brought him a supper, he said he wasn't hungry. He almost ran to get away. Well, I don't know how to say this except blunt-like, but uh, I brought you a present. A present? Well, I can't take a present from you. I'm beholden enough already. Take it. What is it? Open it up. It's a... Uh, well, it's a new type dress. Dress? What do I want to dress for? Ma'am, men are coming up here looking to marry you. You got to fix up pretty. What? Mr. Barnes, well, they're not coming up here because of me. It's, well, it's the farm and the boy. Men don't marry farms. They're figuring to marry you. You got to look right, or else maybe you'll scare them away like you did little Mac. 
go in there and put that on and let your hair down. That's awful. I won't do it. I won't do any such thing. You want to save your farm? Now look, Miss Turner, you made me put that notice in the newspaper. Now you got to do your part. Go in there and put that on. Mister, why are you always mad? I'm not mad, son. It's just that your mother is such a... Well, she's such a woman. You do want her to get married, don't you? I wished I was bigger. I guess I know how you feel. It'll be a long time before you'll be big enough to run this farm. Pa used to reach me every night. Every night he'd reach me from books. I don't guess many men do that with their son. Mister, can you keep a secret? Sure I can, son. Cross your heart and hope to die? Cross my heart and hope to die. Pa and I got a secret cave. Even Ma don't know about it. I sure would like to see that cave. You'd never find it in a million years. Where is it? There's a dangerous path going down a draw. At the bottom, there's a big, huge boulder marked with a secret X. Behind it, there's a bush. You open like a door. Show me where it is. Come on. Hey, it's a man coming to see your mom. Who cares about him? We'll have to see the cave later, son. You better, uh, you better stay here now. You here to see the widow, too? No. I just, uh, happened to stop by. Just to visit with a boy. It's a real nice farm. Where's the widow? Yes, sir. A real nice farm. Howdy, ma'am. I'm Brad Morgan. I'm Faith Turner. Mrs. Turner. And, uh, this is my son, Eddie. And Mr. Barnes. How do you, young fella? Barnes? He's a fine-looking boy. You must be mighty proud of him, ma'am. Oh, yes, I am. Well, I, uh, I guess you'll want to see the place first, so I'll show you around. Oh, the field's over there. You can see the plow, and it's all done. Uh, I guess you'll want to see the stock. Be done. You probably noticed the buildings are pretty run down. Oh, they were that way when we took over the place. But you couldn't hope for better soil. Uh, oh, 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 the buildings. Fine buildings, Faith, fine buildings. Well, I guess you've seen everything. Except for the inside of the house. I think we should see that now. Oh, yes. Uh, look, you two, uh, Faith and I have some very serious talking to do. I believe we should be alone. Don't you agree, Faith? Oh, yes, of course. We'll be back in a few minutes. Oh, Mr. Morgan, maybe... Brad, Brad. Brad, maybe we could have our talk on the other side of the bar. I'll... Whatever you say. I'd like to hear you. I would, too. But why? It's what your ma wanted. She put in that fool ad. I told her not to. Why are you getting mad again? I'm not mad. I'm just disgusted. Well, what's taking him so long? He's been talking for half an hour. They are talking. But Faith, we're getting married. Get out of here! Who are you to talk to me that way? Get out of here! What's gotten into you? <laughs> What's the matter with you? 
I'll show you what's the matter with me. You hit me. Get out. And don't ever come back. You're crazy. You're all crazy. It serves you right. That's what you get for throwing yourself at any man that comes along. You're hurt. Let me fix it for you. I'm not either. I'm fine. I'm getting out of here, and I don't care what happens to you. From now on, I don't care. You understand? Well, I, I guess I'll be on my way. By the way, uh, I got in a fight on Sunday. You don't say. You knew? Oh, I got eyes. Oh, yeah. By the way, I hadn't been back up there since Sunday. You happen to know if, uh... Find anybody except, uh, Morgan had gone to pay a visit on the pretty widow. By the way, as you say, how come you like to kill Brad Morgan? You know, Ben, I don't know. I truly don't. By golly. For a bright young man as you are, you sure can be thinking ahead. Jim, you're in love with that girl. Now, there's only one thing left for you to do. You go up there and you ask her to marry you. Me? Well, ben, I work for you. Well, I'm aware of that, Jim, and it's going to be a job replacing. You know, Ben, that is what's been wrong with me. I love her. I truly do. And I am going to ask her to marry me. But at last. Miss Turner? Hey! Eddie? Mr. Barnes, Eddie's disappeared. I can't find him any place. <laughs> it's possible he and his father did have a secret hiding place. That's it. I think I know where it is. Oh, you do where? It's, uh... Wait a minute. I promised I wouldn't tell. You wait here, Faith. And don't worry, I'll find him. How'd you find this cave? You told me, remember? Oh, yeah. Look, he's here. Well, Paul loved your mother, didn't he? He'd never worry her. This is a real African chill. No, almost here. Not too nice, uh, thinking of your mother out there, worried about you, not knowing where you are, is it? This bowl. Pa made it. Well, it sure does look real. Look. I'll show you the rest of the cave later. Maybe I'd better go see Ma. Good idea. I'm sorry, Ma. Oh, Eddie. It's all right. Now, out you go. Your face looks better. Miss Turner, Faith, I want to make a speech, and I don't want you to stop me till I've finished. Please. All right. Now, 
First, I want to explain something to you. You see, I was too dumb to know why I was always mad at you. I was always yelling at you. Oh, it's not necessary. Shh, shh. Let me finish. I didn't even know why I beat up Brad Morgan. The fact is, I was so thick-headed somebody had to tell me. But I know now. It's because I... Very good at saying things like this, but it's because I love you so much. That's all there is to it. And what I'd like is, uh, I mean, uh, and I'd be much obliged if you consider marrying me. There's something that I've. Oh, no. no I, I know I'm not very much, but I'll work hard, and I'll be good to the boy. You know, Faith, I'll always love you. Of course, I don't expect you to make up your mind right now. Faith, I can't find Eddie any place. He's found. He's out front. Thank goodness. Jim, I'm glad you could come up here today. And I want to thank you for speaking to me about coming up here last Sunday. And Faith, I'm going to try very hard to get together with Eddie. And don't you worry. Eddie! I tried to tell you. Little Mac and I were married yesterday. He's a fine man. Little Mac's a fine man. I guess I'll be on my way. I got the mail to deliver. Jim. Thank you for asking me. I'll always remember. And I'll always be proud that you asked me. And I'll always wish you the best of everything. This is McDonald. And I wish the same for you, Mr. 